Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Channeled Ascension Messages. Actually, today I'm going to be talking about my own um, story and teach you hopefully something on how to shift your own timelines into something that you really want rather than something that um, you feel you have no, no control over. This story starts back in my late 20s. I was around 27 when this happened to me. Um, I was guided by my spirits, my guides, whatever, to follow a voice that was very subtle inside my mind. It was like, the voice was like it was from me, um, uh, speaking to me inside me, but um, it was maybe of a higher consciousness, um, higher frequency, maybe my future self, um, maybe they're all the same thing, but it was a voice that I felt I needed to listen to. It could have been um, Palladians also, yeah, but it was a voice that I needed to listen to. Uh, the first time this happened to me was when I was driving with my fiance in a car in Akaroa, New Zealand. And I had a very mucky mind, a very muddled mind, um, very low vibration, always thinking the worst, worrying about things, constantly in my head about this is going to happen, I know it is. Um, and the crazy thing is when you think like that, you, if you know it is, it is. Um, and this voice came along and said, just think positive. And it wasn't that it wanted me to think completely positively all the time and be stressed out if I didn't think positively or anything like that. It just was a voice that wanted me to um, really focus on controlling my mind. So the same voice when we got to the beach at Akaroa asked me to open the car door and start digging and I did and I dug up a solid gold bracelet it was like three inches four inches in the sand um couldn't believe what had happened there was also a little earring silver earring and a little pendant it was like someone had lost their jewelry but it was buried under the dirt and this voice had told me where it was and the crazy thing was my fiance pulled up on this random beach that was no car park or anything like that it was just a long stretch of a beach and he just pulled up randomly to take photographs so uh, there was nobody else around whatsoever uh yeah really got me thinking then i've got to start listening to the subtle voice from there, the voice started training my mind, started teaching me about meditation to relax my mind, relax my jaw when I went to sleep, um, how to envision a beautiful scenario in my mind before I went to sleep, how to live in the moment, um, how to feel the blankets and that so that I didn't feel stressed, uh, how to clear my mind. It led me to my tarot pack of cards called Osho, which taught me so much. Um, he's an Indian master, and he brought out this tarot pack called Osho Tarot. So if you ever want to look up, the, look them up, they help me endlessly. Now, why am I telling you all of this? And why is, what has this got to do with shifting timelines? Well... Everything in your mind that you are thinking, that you have decided to believe, that you feel is your reality, is your reality. And the only way that you can truly shift timelines is to start training your mind out of the experiences that you do not like. Um, so say for instance, you've broken up. And this really happened to me as well. You've broken up, you have a, a partner that's 
um, constantly at you, trying to get you to do what they want to do, using your children against you. You feel like there's no hope. Um, when you go into victim mode, when you start feeling like they have control, they have control. So uh, what I did was went outside and said, I command this to be over. And then the very, that very night, I had a light bulb message in my head. It was like, da-da, because you're no longer the victim, you have um, this message in your mind that t tells you what to do, how to get out of the scenario, exactly what to say. And because you're no longer the victim, you have the strength to follow through with it. And so you do. So there is actions involved, but the actions when you come from a place of clarity within your mind when you're no longer the victim to, to anything. There's no anxiousness around it. It comes from a strength from within and you just know what to do and you just do it. So you're alleviating the anxious, anxiousness before. You're standing in your power. You know what you want. You know where you're going to. And you no longer allow somebody to dictate or tell you what to do. So therefore, you are shifting your timeline to the fact that you have control and you are uh, a powerful person and deserve more. Um, so many other circumstances like this that's happened in my life um, to the point where I just, it blew my mind as I was experiencing these things over the many, many, many years. Um, another one was there was a time where I had a lot of, speeding fines and the reason why this happened was because they put up a camera down my district and it was at a blind spot and it was one of those spots where you just tend to speed a little bit like five five kilometers over and I just kept getting one point after one point after one point every time I went around that corner and I was getting frustrated and like I'm never how am I going to get out of this? That corner just constantly gets me. And because that was in my mind, it was almost like my mind would go blank, my accelerator would go on and I'd go around the corner and I'd get another point. And then it was got to the point where I was so concerned, so worried because I had to take my children to school and I only had one point left on my license. And then I went, oh, what am I doing? I'm fueling that experience and it's it's taken me to a point of such fear i have to drop this and i have to trust that i'm going to get out of it so i used the same techniques as what they taught me with my mind to say to myself repeatedly no this isn't going to happen this just isn't going to happen i'm not going to lose any more points um, I even rung them up and explained to them that I maybe something's wrong with the camera, maybe something's, and they're like, yeah, whatever, didn't want to listen to me. You got the points, deal with it. Um, so it would have been after quite a few months of me saying, this isn't going to happen, this isn't how my life is, I'm not going to be stressed out for the rest of my life over a point being taken off and my license gone. And um, really focused on what every step that I could do to avoid. There was another way around that camera. So from then on, I did avoid the camera. Um, but the really weird thing was three months later, I rung them up again to ask how many points. I don't know why I did this. I just felt a pull to do this. I rung them up and I asked, how many points do I have on my license? While the lady on the other line said, you only have two points. And I was like, what? I was just about to tell her, no, I don't. And I'm like, oh, Bobby, don't do that. Don't, you know, this is, this is you shifting your reality. So don't, what are they called? look a gift horse in the mouth. So I shifted the timeline um, into what I wanted without even doing, whether, I don't know what happened. I don't know whether they gave me the points back, whether they saw that the camera was faulty, whether the lady decided to feel sorry for me after she hung up the phone, whether 
it doesn't matter it doesn't even matter i shifted my timeline to serve my own self so i didn't feel anxious uh, and losing one more point and that's how it works um now to go to to even more extreme on this and more shifting your timeline um after they taught me how to well, this is my guides taught me how to even still my mind um you can virtually shift your timeline uh in instantly in a moment um and see the results so one day i was camping in a beautiful place i love called kenilworth and i took a walk over the river to um the other side of this uh, mary river beautiful river going through this camping ground and it was just a massive paddock where cows used to graze and everything like that there was some clover there was some grass there was a couple of trees mainly just bare land and i was walking around i saw this big dead tree and i'm like okay i am going to put this to the test the real test my guys had taught me how to still my mind enough to shift my my perception and and my reality and so i'm going to sit down on the, in this huge field of grass and i thought to myself what could i manifest in this moment that's something that i know i can handle in my mind because you need to at least work with what's going on in your mind um and they had taught me before you know um if you wanted to manifest things start slowly so start with you see five cent pieces everywhere and oh my god i saw five cent pieces everywhere um you see uh feathers everywhere you, and then you you up the up it to i'm going to find a a cat something to do with cats and i found a little ornament with a cat on it when i park my car in a in a shopping park and car park and look down and here's a silver cat and i'm like there you go there's your cat um i'm going to so you play with it i'm going to um manifest someone giving me a huge gift on my birthday even though you know i was on my own and and i only had my two girls with me and yeah i didn't have uh the friends and that to be able to give me gifts but i had acquaintances but not real friends that you go hi it's my birthday you want to come around um and lo and behold that day a friend of mine just randomly bumped into me an acquaintance actually of mine not a really close friend and he he said oh it's you. i told him it was my birthday so he said i will shout you out for your birthday and i'm like oh, that's so sweet well when we were sitting down for this meal a friend of his came over sat down next to us and said i have a massive huge frame in my car that i need to get rid of and i was an artist this she goes i i want to i just want to get rid of it and i said i'll take it i'll love to take it and it was a massive frame with this solid like oak like huge oak um frame that i you know it was just gorgeous and I realized there's my present there's my gift that i wanted to manifest on my birthday so you sort of up the ante t- to bringing it in on certain timelines um you play with it and uh see how it works my youngest daughter said she wanted to see an echidna a certain day um we'd never we'd never ever seen a echidna um the the good thing is too if you ever do want to manifest something don't tell people that will block it because the energy you will feel the energy that it's impossible and then you block that timeline from coming into your existence so when she told me straight away in my mind as as a parent I'm like we're never going to see an echidna and then I went oh probably are you going to block your are you going to block your daughter's 
you know, shifting what she wants and manifesting what she wants in her reality? No. Okay, so then I shifted my my mind inside of me says to say anything's possible. Of course she can. Of course she can manifest that. Well, that very afternoon, we ended up going to a birthday party. I was sitting next to a, a sliding door um, with a group of women and right coming up to the sliding door was a massive echidna and he was just a few feet away from me. I ran outside, I grabbed my daughter who was playing with her friends and said, look what you manifested. And she was beside herself. She wanted to see an echidna that day and she did. And this is what I mean. We are more powerful humans and we can shift timelines. But what we have to do is, is believe it, it is coming to us with every, every cell of our body to know that we have let go of our mind and our doubts and say anything is possible and we can shift ourselves into these certain timelines that are in resonance with our self-worth. Um, so yeah, back to Kenilworth when I'm sitting on the um, in the huge paddock on the grass. I thought to myself, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it up one more step, one more level here. If I am the creator of my reality, I am going to sit down, close my eyes. I'm not going to look. I'm just going to clear my mind. I am going to pick a blade of grass beside me and it is going to be a four leaf clover. So I sat down in this huge field, closed my eyes straight away, didn't look around me one, one little bit, not looking for a four leaf clover, not even for a bunch of clovers, nothing. I just plopped myself down, closed my eyes. And then I reached out and I picked what I could have been a blade of grass. And I'd had a clear mind when I did it. A four leaf clover is what I'm going to have in my mind when I when I open my eyes. And I open my eyes and here staring in front of me was a four leaf clover. And it took me, it just, I, I, my left brain just went, what the? So that convinced me we are creating our reality as we go we're creating everything as we go and um, these these are the days that are telling me like spirit woke me up this morning and said you're going to do another video and it's going to start teaching and leading people through to how to shift their own timeline because there is a kind of a split happening where you have a decision to make and it's almost like you would call maybe the, the same judgment day in my mind at the moment where you've been put in a position of either letting your reality be dictated by another or you taking control of your own thoughts and seeing your self-worth and moving towards what you feel you deserve. Um, this is where we're going. So I needed to tell you those, those stories. There is so many other stories that happened to me in my reality from me sitting down and saying to myself, I need someone to help me with all the, all the um, entities and visions that I was getting. When I say visions, these are things that I saw when I woke up. Um, and beings visiting me and when I did that I said I wanted to meet someone of high integrity uh, a month later I was through really crazy circumstances I was led to a Cherokee elder um, who I worked with over quite a few many years amazing amazing lady if you ever get to know her her name is uh, Grandmother Parisha Um, she's from Ohio. She's part Irish and part Cherokee, but she has was taken by her elder as an elder 
to learn all about um, so many things, potential of humanity itself. Uh, so see, when we decide to take our reality, uh, we, can, we can also ask to be gifted the right people to come into our life. We can ask to align ourselves with the right timelines of manifesting whatever we desire, honestly. And then we no longer need bank accounts. We no longer need um, to save everything because and hoard everything on our back because um, we know that everything will be gifted to us at the right time for the experience that we need. And so there's no trying to survive and trying to protect everything of ours because we have this inert freedom of self-expression, of leaping into whichever um, reality and timeline that you want. So that's it for today. Until next time, love you guys heaps. Bye.